I'm a calling sick Breakfast in bed, babe That's what I said I'm gonna rock your body So right, I'm addicted to you Hi guys, welcome back. I am totally Hail Marying this in the 25th hour and trying to take advantage of the last like day or two of the Sephora spring sale event. You guys know I really love to layer my products, three different foundations, four different powders. Like I like different things for different parts of my face, but I tried to keep it relatively simple today. Those of you that are really trying to build up your makeup collection, you kind of get like one reco per category from me-ish. I'm wearing one foundation, one concealer, one powder. So hope you guys love this. So I'm starting out with a vitamin C serum and I love Murad. I use their retinol collection every night and I have been for well over a year. So I'm excited to bring Murad into my daytime routine as well. So this is their Environmental Shield Vita C Glycolic Brightening Serum as well as the Vita C Eyes Dark Circle Corrector. Good antioxidant. Don't forget your sunscreen, of course. Okay, picking one foundation like to recommend as opposed to like 10 is really hard. I'm gonna go with one that might seem surprising because I don't wear it in like every tutorial but in like my day-to-day -day life a lot, especially when I need to do like a quick makeup look. So the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Concealer. I wear the shade Cream Caramel. I like wearing foundation that's a little darker than my complexion, especially if I'm doing a quick makeup look because it hides all your blemish blemishes and it really gives you like an all over beautiful base, kind of like a self tanner. And so my skin actually looks pretty good right now. My forehead is a whole different story, but like my cheeks look good. But anyway, so you can see it's quite a bit darker than my face. So I usually do it in like a contour motion. I can really build it up like an everyday, really just light kind of tinted look versus like a um, full coverage kind of glam. Some circular motions. You should bring it down into your neck. And so since I'm going dark with my skin, what I like to do is go bright with my under eye to kind of counter this deeper tone. Ta-da! So now for my under eye. Okay, picking a concealer is really, really hard because I'm always in a different mood. If I want to go really glam, I go very bright and white, and a lot of people don't like that. And if I'm going more natural, I'll wear something closer to my tone, but then I would have worn a foundation closer to my tone as well. But since I went um, deeper with my face, I'm gonna go brighter with my under eyes. It's a good thing I checked, because Shape Tape is not available at Sephora. So let's use the Huda Beauty concealer, and this is the shade Sugar Biscuit. I love this concealer, it's very full coverage. I just don't really care for applicators like this. I personally, really like a wand. This is the Sephora Airbrush Concealer Brush. It's like beautiful, full, full coverage, but it's not cakey. Typically, I wouldn't contour very hard um, if I went in with a deeper foundation like this, but getting a little fluffy in quarantine, so I might give myself a little extra definition. I love the Fenty Beauty Match Six Contour Stick in Truffle. It is such a great neutral brown. Give it a little spray, and then I'm gonna blend it out with my IT Cosmetics number no. seven brush. One of my favorite brushes to ever exist. I'm just gonna work it in like circular motions like that. How flawless that, that um, blur, blend it out. The worst jawline, so a little bit of jawline contour is good. Setting powder, like a translucent powder. The best ever. Hourglass Veil translucent powder, the best. Oh my gosh. It won't give you that flashback. It's not dry feeling. It's like really luxurious packaging too. Brush for it is a great investment as well. It's like the best brush. It's really expensive though, but it's so good. I'm gonna take it to my smile line and around my mouth. This will create like a nice clean base for lip liner eventually. All right, and I don't put any on my forehead because um, that is my super dry problem area. So I don't even touch that with powder till the very, very end. So for eyeshadow, it's really hard to pick just one palette because for me, it's hard to find a palette that has everything I need, like a good crease color, a good dark outer V color. And then the one thing that isn't in a lot of eyeshadow palettes is like a good matte brow bone color. And that drives me insane because if you have like all this, Without this, 
then you need something else to finish your look. And like, I think a palette should be able to do every part of the look and finish it. So um, I guess a good all-in palette is the Huda Beauty New Nudes. New Nude. Um, I also really love the Too Faced Pretty Rich. So I was debating which one to use today, but I think this one's more popular. So we're gonna go with this one. up in the morning the sun shining on your face you tell me close the curtains but you look so damn beautiful i gotta have you here just one more time baby your body's on my we sipping this red wine I'ma call in sick Breakfast in bed, babe That's what I said I'm gonna rock your body So right I'm addicted to you And I'm feeling I'm daydreaming at night about you I'm not closing my eyes without you Liquid liner, my absolute favorite Is the Too Faced better than sex but i closed the cap on it weird and i messed up the brush where it's like not clean so i'm gonna mess up my eyeliner if i use this so i'm gonna use the charlotte tilbury the feline flick liquid liner which is a close number two for me i just love the brush tip of the Too faced one this is a felt tip but it's like really nice and sharp so i do really like this one too you want, I got you. I'll make it easy like Sunday, easy like Sunday, cause I know, I know. For a pencil eyeliner, I always love the Urban Decay 24-7 gel pencil liners. They're all great, but lately for bl a black one, um, I'm really liking the Charlotte Tilbury Eye Powder Pencil. It's super black like the Urban Decay one, but it has like a creamy powdery finish. So um, you can blend it really easily, but it also stays in place. Whereas like the Urban Decay is like super, super creamy. It doesn't really always stay where you put it. I generally like it um, as like a base for a powder, but this like, it's really, really nice just on its own. So I'm gonna tight line and do a little bit of like a smoky angled lower line. You know, you know, you know, it's so hard, so hard, so hard. I'll make it easy like Sunday, Sunday. easy like Sunday. This is the best lash curler for like round eyes or protruding eyes, but and it's a Sephora brand, like Sephora collection, but I think they discontinued it. It was the XL lash curler. I really hope they bring it back. It is the best for my eye, eye type. Focused on you at the moment. My oh, I love this mascara because the wand is awesome for both top and bottom lashes. There's a lot of other mascaras that I like that just like botch my lower lash line and make such a mess. So I love this one for both. If you want to bronze up, I love the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder Glow in medium deep. I like it more than the matte version, like the original version. And so if your eyeshadow gets kind of messy right here, when you're winging it out, you can kind of bleed it into your bronzer, into your hairline. So it's all seamless. I'm gonna contour my nose off camera, but I do have a dedicated video for it. So I will link that below. So blush is one of my favorite steps and Hourglass makes the best blushes. There's so many shades that I'm, obs I'm, I'm obsessed with. This one is Iridescent Flash, but another one off the top of my head that I really love is Radiant Magenta. So flattering on the skin, they like blur everything. Can't get enough. 
you guys know, I wear this all the time. My favorite highlighter is this Pat McGrath Sublime Highlighting Trio. There's a like a light yellow golden shade. There's a light pink shade and then there's like a bronzy shade. So you can wear it for like anything. So I'm gonna go in with the pink first because I'm wearing all pinky tones and I love a pink highlight. It's like not chalky, it doesn't accentuate texture. It really has like a velvety kind of finish. Stunning. And I like to top it off with just a little bit of the golden. I think the pink and gold really mix together to create like a gorgeous rosé kind of color. It's very champagne, but it's pinky. All right, a couple things. My glam might look slightly different now. I filmed this tutorial yesterday and it looked so good. My final shots and my intro were so good. And like, I've been struggling for about a year with filming. Like the vibe is always off or the look doesn't come out right or just it doesn't film right. And it was just so good. And then um, I dumped everything into my Final Cut Pro and then I grabbed my memory card to go shoot some photos with Aya. And normally I double, triple check everything, but it was like, 10 minutes to it being dark like I was chasing the sun and took my pictures with Aya, deleted a couple of my clips and I came back and nothing had imported into Final Cut and I was like devastated. It ruined my entire day and so I, la I lost like the last like five clips of the tutorial. So I started over and picked up at lip liner and and you know even just looking at uh, looking at my glam on camera right now it looked better yesterday so I'm kind of upset. But oh well, it is what it is. Hopefully you guys still like the look and hopefully it still turns out good. Anyway, so back to my Sephora picks. So picking, like I only wear browns and nudes. It's very rare that I'll wear a different color. And so it was a little difficult picking my Sephora brown nudes because you guys know I love my KK Beauty nude collection. I wear nude number two pencil and nude number four lipstick and also 3.5 and they're just perfect i hardly ever wear anything else and so i was like hmm what is available at sephora that i could recommend so i'm actually wearing the charlotte tilbury um lip cheat pillow talk number three intense so she recently um re-released another drop of pillow talk with like deeper tones so that was pretty cool and so i never tried the number three because i didn't like the number two but number three was pretty nice i swatched it and it looks like the KKW number three pencil. It's like a deep brown, but this does have a slight maroonness to it. Um, I would say the KKW one is a little more chocolate toned, but yeah. And so yesterday when I did my glam, I put on this lipstick by Kaja Beauty. And then I went on top of it with my Huda Beauty anniversary lipstick and I did like it, but it pulled kind of more maroonish than like a neutral or chocolatey brown that I love. And so I went back on Sephora to see like what is available there that I love. And I didn't realize Crushed Liquid Lips in um, West Coast Bay and East Coast, East Coast Slay. Um, these were the ones by Tenny and Makeup by Denise. I didn't realize that these were like permanent color options. I thought they were like a limited edition and for some reason I thought they were only available at Macy's. I don't know why I thought that, but they're available at Sephora. And these, especially together, are so gorgeous, but even separately, they're really nice. So I did put out a little bit of the Kaja Beauty Bay just to kind of stick to what I was doing yesterday, but I'm gonna change it up now. Instead of going on with the Huda Beauty anniversary, I'm gonna put on this. This is the darker one, this is the West Coast base. This one's Tenny's and I am more into like a satin kind of finish now. I'm not into like a super matte. You here, just one more time, baby. Your body's on my While we sip in this red wine. Yeah. I'ma call in sick. Breakfast in bed, babe. That's what I said. I'm gonna rock your